Have you guys purchased our face mask yet? You better purchase our face mask. That's cute. They are available in three colors. What are the colors, Joy? White, pink, and black. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it's available for you mm -hmm. at an affordable price mm -hmm. of 10 whole dollars. Okay, Be COVID, honey? Guys. Be COVID. COVID friendly. Pull up. <laughs> I'm thinking it, she's thinking it, we're thinking it, and, and you're, you're watching, watching, you're thinking it. it. Ooh, welcome back, thinkers. Welcome back. Hey, yes, guys. what's popping? Let us know what's going on. Have you followed us? Have you hit the subscribe button? Because make sure you go ahead and do that, okay? Are you ready for the next event? Because it's going to be so topic with our topic today. Ooh, yes. yes. Supporting black businesses. Yes. yes. All right. So, what are we doing today? So today's episode that we are getting into black people and black-owned businesses, mm -hmm. and I feel like we're gonna touch a little bit on like, are we helping each other thrive, or are we studying each other's growth? Mm -hmm. You know, is it important to you guys to support black-owned businesses, or is that really a thing for you guys? Like, if it happens, it happens. Like, do you specifically only trust black people with your hair care products, your nails, your skin care? Like, how do you feel about that? I feel like more now, I've actually been trying a better job of supporting black businesses. I guess I honestly can blame it on the fact that like everything that's been going on, it's just like, I take the extra time, I'll throw in the little hashtag, pop on boutiques and stuff and search around like, oh, okay, if I get it at the same price, I'm just gonna get it from here now. So I've been trying to be a little bit better, but like hair care, my hair, yeah, that was always people of color. Yeah. But my nails, yeah, I've been actually trying to like, now I'm like trying to message people of color that's my and nail your lashes and stuff. Yeah, well my lashes, yeah, they were they were always black too. What about like doctors and dermatologists? I've been trying to change over all over now too, all of my doctors to be people of color, yeah. Okay. This year has really heightened like us yeah. feel like you said like, people are looking into it more. Like, if I could get that romper from Fashion Nova for $42.99, like, there's probably a young girl who has her own little online boutique yeah. that's charging $18.99. I'm just hashtagging it. Just, yeah. the same dress is popping up at all, all these, these boutiques. Mm -hmm. All these girls have the same dresses. Yeah. And then you actually do, like, sometimes when you, like, go to pop-ups, you will see somebody who's like a fashion designer, like Afropunk has a lot of people like that, where they create their own pieces of clothing. Yeah. And they're like, yes, you know, then you find an outfit or you find a piece of clothing that's different than from from someone else, you know? Like, yeah. I like this lady, she makes crystals and stones and she like wraps them and stuff. She yes, does, does that on yeah, she yeah, does it, pop up. She yeah. does it different every single time. There's not yeah. really no piece that looks the same, you know? Yeah. So. I feel like for me, like I said, for nails, I've been with Asian people, but like Gabby said, I've been recently, since I have a reason to look for a new nail tech, I've been trying to find somebody black. Mm -hmm. And I also been, I told you, looking for like the young girls, because I like yeah. what they're doing. There's a lot yeah. of girls who are doing like bomb nails mm -hmm. and they're like 18 and under and stuff. So I'm looking for like a young black nail tech that yep. can like do anything I saw on Instagram like I want her to like know how to draw pop smoke on my face or my fingernail yeah. and a lot of them can do things yeah. like that yeah. yeah you was telling me about one I yeah talented know. a lot of them are really talented and then for hair you know I go to a young black girl yeah. for my hair yeah, now hair, hair. I always go to black girl hair is hair. just yeah. no for my frontal who else is gonna understand me other than a fellow black girl yeah Okay guys, so since the whole Black Lives Movement kind of like blew up during the quarantine, um, what have you guys been doing to keep that momentum going and to try and stay positive and moving towards like a, a positive direction? What y'all been doing? Well, I was gonna say that what I think that we did that was really good and I reposted it so many times and, and we got like a thousand likes on it. We made those lists Oh, yeah. That oh, was shouting okay. out 
just black like owned restaurants. restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we were Maybe, definitely, yeah. to me, like doing something that was uh, pushed in the right direction and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, I personally, I feel like I can't think of many places that I eat at that aren't black owned. Mm. But, you know, I feel like for other people who maybe didn't know how many options they had around us that, you know, we did a lot of people a favor. Yeah. And I mean, y'all protested. I, that wasn't my, That's wasn't right. my lane or whatever. Yeah. So I didn't do that. But I feel like mm, since then, I feel like I just been keeping the momentum, like you said, like um, supporting black owned businesses. So I've been telling my mom for some years now with doctors, like just ask her before I was of age to really do the research on my own. I would ask her like, you don't think like a black GYN or a black dermatologist could more so treat the problem because who will understand a black person's skin better than a black person and you know the things that our bodies insides go through and things like that and it's like now I feel like my mom's really on board with me now to like make it a mission of like you know to make sure our doctors are black and it's just know, a different level of care sensitivity yeah. You know, an understanding too. And I feel like, like we're saying, even if it's just something as simple as like getting your lashes done or getting your nails done, like for why not put $50 in a yeah. black girl's pocket That's the before thing too. we go to the Asians? Like, I, I mean, if they loyal to you, then they loyal they to you. Yeah. You said my shirt. I wore it. Yes, up tempo. My shirt is from up tempo. So, and then we drew a black owned pop up shop. Like, we weren't specifically, technically, aiming people for of only color, black people. You know, but yes, that's who came out. Because we were, happy. we were serving our community. We love supporting, yes. and it's like exactly. And our vendor showed us that those are like other black people that love supporting black people because yes. they came and supported three black girls that they didn't know. So, exactly. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah. But yeah, Up Tempo was one of our vendors. Yeah. They're like from Brooklyn slash Oceanside. I think they said oh, they were okay. from. Oh. Yeah, but they are a group of young black brothers, and yes, they have literally. You know, I showed it on my last video. The mm -hmm. bag has the Yankee sign that like looks like skeleton. Yeah, a little bit right here. Yeah. So shout out to them. Okay. I have been like trying to support as well is massage um, therapists and masseuse that are black. There's a lot of black masseuse massage therapists that will come to your house and they'll give you the service. Or there's actually a black. Um, Spa that's close by to us. Ooh, yeah, so sure. we're gonna maybe we'll do a review on that. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, really really know I love the spa. Yes, I've heard. So that's yes. one thing that I'm working towards. Yeah. So that's it, y'all. Like, just I just feel like we just like I said, I feel like quarantine yeah. really Taught showed. Yeah, really showed us to not take for granted. Like you know what we are capable of as black people and I feel like in so many other races like or whatever they want to call it like the Jews, the Indians, Hispanics, like Asians, they build within each other and then they serve other people but like they make sure each other is getting money like so I feel like black people need to do the same thing like if you're lit at nails put on other black hairstylists. If you're great at makeup, put on other black girls to do lashes and things like that. Like, yeah. competition is healthy, yeah. but there's no need for, and I feel like how they say, like, us being the one race that's actually been suppressed. Like, we don't have time right now, though, to be acting like crabs in a barrel. You know, we got to get there first, like, in those rooms. So. But that's why, like, I sell hair products, but I'm still going to talk about Wandering Queen Control. Yeah. She sells different products. That's what I mean. That's yeah. lit. That's Even what I'm saying. Too many people that don't like, want to do that. There's like, enough out here for everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Exactly. And then it's community over competition. That's just what it is. And let everybody get a piece of the pie. Yeah. Stop trying like, to... Like, look at how they ended up beefing about that. And we talked about that on one episode, which is sad. But it's like, Nikki ended up letting Arrogant Tay and Jonathan do her hair. And even if Jonathan never did Nikki's hair, 
Megan Thee Stallion just got on and he was her immediate hairstylist. So it was like two black boys winning yeah. in the celebrity hairstyle community. So I really hope they work it out too because that's lit. Like they need to do like A local hair ad. shows together yeah. and stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's lit. For real. Yeah, that would be a nice way to build. Yeah. yeah. Like work together because yeah. it just be so lit when you bring so much ideas. And so many on. other people do that. Like even yes. with YouTubers, like yes, they collab. collab. Yes. That's how you get and to grow. network and grow. Yes. yes. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. You're, You're thinking, thinking it. it.